It was an enjoyable experience, but I didn't come out of it going, oh, oh. <laughs> Today on the Anti Veg, I have invited some of my friends over and we are going to do some cheese taste testing. So that when you guys go to like the supermarket or the health food store, you know which cheeses to buy and which ones not to buy. Let the cheese tasting begin. Coconut. All right, let's see if it's wiggly. Yeah, wiggles like cheese. Buttery in a pleasant way. It looked more like a cheese. No. Like it doesn't look strange on a cracker. You wouldn't think about it, you would just eat it. Yeah, it's definitely more um, legit. <laughs> if you just handed this to me, I'd be like, oh yeah, it's just cheese. It didn't really taste like much. I don't know, it's hard to, maybe melted, it's gonna be better. Let's do like the open. Oh, this is nice. All right, this is cheese-like inside, very much so. It's, it's kind of gloopy. Oh, I don't know if it's melted consistently. <laughs> it's not a weird blob. It greets your tongue with like a little... It's still hanging out and plop. Yeah, it just plopped onto my tongue. <laughs> this doesn't really taste like anything. Mm -mm. It doesn't really have that much taste, but texture is weird melted. Look. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to eat it anymore. Like if that landed on my plate, I'd be like, who just snotted on my plate? Oh. I actually think this is great. Like dip this in a tomato bisque and you have, you have a good day. See, it doesn't even do the stringy thing. You're performing a cheese autopsy and I want none of it. So I give it a five. Yeah, I, I think I'd do like a five. What or, would you rate the raw one? Like a three and a half. A 3.7. Okay. This was better cold than it was melted. I give it a two. I probably wouldn't buy it, so I'm gonna give it like a one. Raw, I would give it like a four and a half. And melted, like a four. Yeah, I think I'm with you on both sides there. Wiggle factor? That's pretty good, but they look like plastic. It feels like, like, like cooked noodle. Like this is Play-Doh. This is obviously, like someone put this this is the yellow Play-Doh that they got and they stuck it in the machine and went rah, 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 and out came strings of yellow Play-Doh. That's what we have. No, you know what? I like this. Oh, it's like something that went bad on a piece of cardboard. Oh, what? That like I'm eating. It tastes worse than dried Play-Doh. You would rather eat dried Play-Doh? I think so. Oh look, it's another grilled cheese sandwich. Like my grandma's trying to make me gain weight. I mean, it stretches and it melts. But it m stretches and melts like liquid nacho cheese. Yeah. Oh, it's stretchy. What am I doing to my sandwich? <laughs> Is that better than the last one you had? Is it less snotty? Oh yeah. I don't like it. But I'm not gonna give it a zero. So I'm gonna give it like a two. The raw, I'd give it like a 2.5. The melted version. I'd give it like a four. One and a half to two. Really? Yeah. I would say two because it's, it's passable. I mean, it's not horrible. It's it's acceptable to two. I don't know. Raw one, because I wouldn't eat this one raw. Melted, like a three. If you're offering this as like your first offering a friendship to someone, I, no, I'm not gonna be your friend. It smells like Parmesan. Smells very real. Um, I think it smells like fermented, cheesy, aged feet. Goodness. Feet. Well, it smells like feet. It takes me back because I haven't had like this kind of Parmesan for a really long time. You know what though? Out of the thing, it kind of looks like sawdust. It's a little artificial tasting. A little. That tastes completely convincing to me. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like at first it's like yes, and then there's like a bit of a like after tastes like no, but then there's a bit of like a yes again. <laughs> I think if I had this over like pasta yeah, though, no. I would think it's Parmesan. In comparison to real Parmesan, I think I'm gonna give it. But real powdered, fine Parmesan yeah, 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 yeah. like this, I not give like, it like a, a four. slice. See, I'd give it a five because I was very convinced and happy. Nice. For what it's trying to be, I'd give it a four and a half. I agree, 3.5 out of five. 
maybe four. So I'm gonna give them a four because I think they've done a pretty good job of like making fake Parmesan cheese. I don't ever recall anyone just like eating a scoop of Parmesan. Uh, somebody does. If right. you scoop your Parmesan and Leave you a comment make below. It, comment <laughs> below and tell us about what your day is like. This one scares me a little. I'm not gonna lie. Don't oh, you put it, it in your mouth if you're you... allergic to macadamia nuts. <laughs> oh, visually, it's kind of brown. <laughs> it's ugly looking. It's ugly. Very... I guess. Oh no, I dropped it. Okay, that's five second roll. It's a bit mm. soapy. <laughs> it has like a texture of like wet sand almost. <laughs> it's like urban garlic or something. Did you say urban garlic? Urban, it's like her. It's like downtown garlic. I know, it's a bit like stuck up. I don't like it. You just ate like three crackers with it. It's kind of like looking at me the wrong way. This tastes expensive to me. This is this tastes like an eighteen dollar cheese. And sometimes it I, is. Oh, thank you. There's like something a bit off that I can't quite place. It's got this like weird tang to it, almost. Tang. It's got a t yeah. Maybe they just put tang in it. It's like a four, four point five. Four for the type of cheese this is, because it's I think it's unique and it does taste pretty good. Solid four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah. I agree. I give it like a five. Wow, I give it like a three. What? Mm -hmm. I'll give it a 3.5. There we go. So there you guys have it. Those are tons of vegan cheeses. I wanted to thank all of my taste testers. Nikki from Health Not Nutrition. Davison from LOL Pervs. Susanna from VeggieBub and her significant other, John. Also, of course, James. Hey, thanks. So make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Uh, if you liked it, and if you don't like it, give it a thumbs up anyway. If there's some that we haven't tried that you think I should try, leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Today on the Edgy Veg, I have partnered up with a few of my friends, and we are going to taste lots of vegan cheeses for you guys. So that when you go out and you look for your vegan cheese, you will not be duped, and you know which one to buy. So let the cheese taste.